Welcome to the webinar, Step into the Future with AI, How to Start and Succeed. Today's topics, the evolution of artificial intelligence, Microsoft technology, data and AI, live demo of Copilot for sales, insights to Copilot for customer engagement and power platform, how to start and succeed. We are Alpha People. We are the leading Microsoft Dynamics 365 implementation partner globally. We are located in 14 countries. We are more than 625 employees globally. We have more than 450 certified Microsoft consultants, and we do have offshore teams in India and Latin. And we have more than 500 active customers globally. We are Microsoft Inner Circle partner for 14 years now, and it applies us as a partner to maintain and persistently to be up to date with new technology. Technology that rapidly will change, and we aim to keep up the speed. The evolution of artificial intelligence. We know how fast the mobile and digitalization is running. Now that we have almost everything in the cloud, data can be connected from everywhere, from any device. And with AI, it rapidly will change the way we work. If you take a look at the graph, mobile devices reach 100 million users within 16 years. Chat GPT or AI recordly will reach that level way before. Actually, ChatGPT reached almost the first 100 million users in within two months. The world is changing, and with the use of mobile devices, it had gone faster than ever imagined. For example, the triumphal arc in Paris, New Year's Eve 2024, Almost everybody saw the fireworks through their mobile dev devices combined to 2019, where it was only every third person who did the same. And when the world got even faster with Copilot. So we expect that Copilot, with help from Microsoft, will grow even faster. We went from puzzles to Copilots in two years. Have you tried the new Copilot for in Bing? It's fast, very fast. I was surprised myself. AI in the world, IoT, machine learning, robots. We have been using IoT and robots for several years, and we use AI every day, but we use our GPS, searching on the internet, and so on. Now we are searching even more and with much more and better results and with more precise results. And in combination with data from the cloud and the internet, we are loaded with information. It's not that funny to have a discussion anymore. AI applications in business. Copilot is an assistant. It's a data finder who can simplify tasks. Accomplish more in less time with AI generated emails, summarizes and content. Use AI as assistance to draft email and set up meetings in Outlook with data from your CRM platform and Microsoft Graph. Create AI generated email and meeting summarize in Outlook and Microsoft Teams and save them directly to your CRM platform. Copilot is available now. Copilot for customer engagement is ready to use with the functions for sales, customer insights, which is marketing, customer service, field service, product operations, ready to use functions. Copilot for sales is your AI assistant and connected with Microsoft 365, it can bring your insights across productivity and workflows. Copilot for Sales is the module where we have the most functionalities available compared to the other customer engagement modules. Copilot for Sales was released last year, so now we have the full benefit of both platforms. The license for Dynamics 365 Sales Copilot includes Copilot for Microsoft 365. 
if the user have E3 or E5 Office package. Copilot for Microsoft 365 Office package are available now and can assist you in the workflow of the daily work. To have the full benefit of sales, you must also have Copilot for Microsoft 365. They are engaged together. Copilot for My Microsoft 365 can work without sales. So let's have a closer look on how it works. Hello, everyone. My name is Felipe and I work as an architect here at Elnelf People. And I work with Microsoft Solutions for a while now, 13 years. And today I'm going to speak for you about AI co-pilots, uh, how the world is moving forward with it, and why our companies should start to adopt it uh, faster than we can. Uh, also, it's very important for you to understand what is the Elf People's vision for AI, how people can help you to adopt AI in your companies, and uh, how our knowledge can help your companies step into the future using AI. So, as you can see in this slide, I will talk a little about what are the three main points of our people's vision. So as you can see in the left pane, we're talking about ready to use AI. These are AIs of fast adoption. Uh, for example, we're talking uh, about co-pilots and we are going to talk about them uh, a lot today. When we are talking about ready to use AI, we're talking about an AI that you don't need to do uh, much work on it, heavily customization, nothing like that. But you can get it uh, from Microsoft almost out of the box and can start using it. Copilots are that, are very easy to adopt. So uh, when you adopt Copilot, you are going to see a boost in productivity in your uh, companies in your teams um, and also you are going to see a series of functionalities today about copilot and how uh, you can start adopting it also we know that sometimes we have some specific needs in our companies some features some requirements that uh, are needed to uh, be developed in that case we have this second main point of of people's vision that is the low code no code ai uh, we have uh, ways to adopt uh, again the ai using low code and no code why use low code and no code because again we are uh, increasing our productivity we are developing things faster than we want um, and if we compare, for example, low code, no code to uh, advanced codification, we can deliver much more features with low code and no code in less time. So we will decrease the time of implementing AI. A very powerful tool that we have that can help it's AI Builder. AI Builder is a way of uh, democratize uh, the AI because uh, any maker, anyone can start using an AI without knowing how to develop, without never uh, having a, a class of uh, programming in his life. AI Builder is built for everyone, for a maker, a person uh, to start using AI and adopting it. So low code and no code, it's very important for us to adopt. And even if we need something deeper, for some reason, when we are talking about machine learning or even uh, creating very complex algorithms, alpha people can still help because we have the advanced coding, advanced codification. Of course, when we're talking about advanced codification, as you can see, the time and effort for adoption is longer, but you can increase now the product productivity of your team using our ready to use AI and also the low code and no code solutions. Uh, focus on that. This will boost the adoption of AI. Of course, uh, advanced coding is still present. It will is going to be still needed along the years. Um, we can deliver it, but the ready to use AI and low code, no code are very important to adopt uh, right now also. 
you we can't focus only in advanced codification, but the other features are the ones that are going to make us step into the future faster. OK, so uh, let's start talking about our ready to use AI. So when we are talking about co-pilots, what does this this means? Well, um, of course, when we are talking about co-pilot, it's not the pilot itself, but it's a, a tool, uh, an AI that can help boost our productivity, boost the uh, how often we can deliver a quote, how often we can deliver um, uh, schedule for our field service uh, maintenance. Uh, so the idea here is to offer assistance. This is the co-pilot, but uh, the pilot is still needed. So Copilot will help to do most of the work or even part of the work. But we as professionals, as business professionals, will still going to go into it and help Copilot to develop things also. So uh, imagine that everyone can have now his own assistant. This is Copilot. Copilot will then help us to have more ideas, to deliver content faster, also to decrease the time consuming tasks that we have and also gain insights. So that's very good. Let's do a briefly demonstration about how Copilot work. As you can see now in your screen, I am on my Outlook and I have an email. Copilot can help me, for example, give me insights about this email. Well, this is a very large email. In the past, I had to, well, go through every point, every key point on it, reading through it. But I have now enabled the Copilot application here on my Outlook. And if I click on it, as you can see, a pane in the right side of my Outlook opens. When Copilot is loading, it's starting to read my email. Then I have a new tab called Highlights. And I also have a tab called Dynamics 365. In the highlights is where I can check what are the highlights of my email. Well, for example, here just appeared what are the key email information. So instead of reading this whole email, I can see that I have these three key points that I have to get attention. So Copilot is reading it for me. It's giving me less information only the important information actually. So now I can focus in what is really important in this email. So that is very good. But also imagine that, uh, well, this is a very huge email, so probably to answer it or even to reply it, I will uh, spend some time on it. But then I have this button here, draft an email. When I do this, I can, for example, reply to an inquiry, make a proposal, or even address a concern. Nevertheless, I can select what I want. For example, I want to address a concern about it. Then Copilot will help me to write a proper email in reply to that one. As we can see, this is a Copilot. So I need to go into it, go through it, check this draft email, change what I want, and then I can send. But you can check how this improves, increase my productivity because now I don't need to read uh, step by step on this email. I don't need to read uh, all the paragraphs and everything, but Copilot helped me to do the hard work. Other features that I have here with Copilot, I have integration with Dynamics 365. So as you can see, I have my contact here uh, to be added to Dynamics 365 if I want. As this is, is still not a contact in Dynamics 365, I can just click here and it's going to add this contact to my Dynamics 365. And now, so I can save this email directly in the timeline in Dynamics 365. In this other tab here, Dynamics 365, I can also save the email and check the contact that I have. I can also have more interactions here as my co-pilot begins to read my emails and properly understand my day-by-day -day work. In this other feature that I have here, uh, in this other email, sorry, um, the co-pilot that I have, again, when I click in the co-pilot button, I can see again the highlights, the key email info. And if I want, for example, to reply to an inquiry, again, Copilot can write the draft email for me about this meeting summary 
and then I can read through it, then change what I want and send this email. Then, as you can see, Copilot have given me insights about how to reply, have given me the right tone to my email. So then it is faster to improve my productivity for the sales team in that way. Well, these are some of the features that we have on Copilot. We still have features, for example, in Microsoft Teams that can help us, uh, but it's very important to understand that Adopt Copilot will increase and boost our productivity, will make us do more things in less time. So, as you can see, the sales Copilot uh, it's um, a copilot that is uh, uh, attached to the Dynamics 365 sales. And at, by adopting it, you will make your team move or your deals forward faster. So then copilot can help you generate detailed sales meeting summaries, share actionable, actionable steps after sales calls, and also auto-generate engaging customers' emails and responses. So you can make your sales team focus in what is really needed and not in, uh, well, repetitive work. Other co-pilot that we have is the Customer Insights co-pilot. This is a very nice tool. When we are talking about Customer Insights, it's uh, powered with uh, an AI that will help us to properly understand our customers. So, we will increase our relationship with our customer. We will create meaningful relationships. So about the key features of Customer Insights Copilot, it's, for example, sentiment analysis, behavior tracking. We will uh, check our customers and understand them in a granular level. So imagine that you have created uh, a quote uh, or even we have interacted with a customer uh, sending him a product. And then we understood that the customer start to uh, work with that product. We interact with that product in our social media, for example. Then our AI is paying attention to it. And then when your salesperson logs into the customer insights, it's going to see that that specific customer seems to be interested in the product X. If we do that, we start to real offer for our customers personalized interactions. We are going to offer for our customer what he's wanting. And it's not a shot in the dark anymore because customer insights can help us to really understand our customers. And if we really understand our customers, another thing that we are going to build is loyalty. Loyalty is the synonymous of success with our customers. Because of that, Customer Insights Copilot can help you to understand your customer faster, to create meaningful leads, meaningful interactions. Let's talk about our next Copilot, that is the Field Service Copilot. Again, Field Service Copilot, it's a software that will help us to deliver field services with responsive, uh, uh, in a responsive manner and also uh, uh, make us our strategies of delivery Work, of delivering work orders faster. So uh, the key features of field service copilots will include real-time tracking, dynamic scheduling, and also predictive maintenance. This will ensure, for example, that the field operations are not only efficient, but also proactive. Imagine, for example, if we could anticipate uh, that uh, our customer have an address uh, that is wrong. So we are sending our team to a specific address and uh, well, uh, it is wrong. Uh, our AI with Copilot can understand that, check that information, and predictive this. So uh, this could not affect the uh, uh, field service delivery, the work our delivery. When we are implemented field services, we are going to orchestrate our deliveries of maintenance, field service work uh, with more efficiency. This will also centralize the information that we have about our customers, improving how we can communicate with them. Because now you don't need to get to multiple systems to properly understand how this work order is, or even how our customer is feeling about what we are going to deliver to him. Uh, now we can have a centralized information using Copilot and field service 
to proper communicate with our customer and to understand the delivery of a field service maintenance, for example. Another co-pilot that we have is the customer service co-pilot. So uh, when we are talking about customer service, it's very important that we really understand if the customer is enjoying uh, what we are delivering for him because we are talking about solving issues, solving requests of our customers. So we need to be proactive. Our support needs to be personalized, efficient. So it's not a matter of delivering support for our customer, but it's delivering the support that our customers dreams about. About the key features of customer service copilot, it's, for example, sentiment analysis. Imagine that. Uh, so the customer have opened a ticket with us. It seems to be solved. Our team have solved it. But the customer does not understand why this has been solved. For his point of view, it's not solved at all. When we uh, try to understand that, include the sentiment of the user, uh, and including also an omni-channel support, then uh, it's better. To, we can offer a better experience for our customer. Imagine again uh, on this scenario that I have just uh, described. Uh, we could, for example, open a ticket. Uh, if a customer has sent for us an email complaining about the solution of another ticket, or even we want to ask the customer to evaluate uh, our work so we could deliver him a proper sentiment analysis based on the evaluation that he have done. Customer service copilot will help the users to proper understand what the customer is facing uh, without the need of uh, well, reading through large emails, reading through entire timeline of a ticket. So uh, here, delivering support that our customer really needs, uh, it will, of course, uh, make our relationship with our customer last more than uh, if we do not. So when we are impl implementing customer service copilot, then we are improving our support and also elevate our brands through exceptional customer experiences. And that is what we want. Increase our customer loyalty with us. Customer Service Copilot can help us to deliver it. Now, talking about the Copilot of Project Operations. Project Operations is a tool from Dynamics 365 uh, that help us to deliver our projects with uh, resource booking uh, with well implementation of timelines and time entries on the project. So Copilot can help us and help mainly the project managers to have a real time visibility into the project progress. So uh, it helps the manager to predict problems with resource allocation and also uh, check potential roadblocks in the road. Um, also, Project Operations Copilot will make the manager visions into a reality in the sense that every manager want that uh, to, to check exactly how his project is moving forward. So uh, with Project Operations Copilot, we'll have more advanced analytics, collaborative tools, using Microsoft Teams to deliver uh, a better communication to improve the communication to improve efficiency. So if we want our projects to be more efficient, then we should also implement Project Operations Copilot. Now let's talk about our low-code and no-code copilots that we have. Of course, when we are talking about low-code and no-code, we mainly have to develop and implement AI, AI Builder. But we also have co-pilots in the Power Platform. And let's talk a little about them before we talk about the AI Builder itself. So Power Apps Copilot, it's a very nice tool. It will help us to create functions faster, also to create um, ideas and insights faster for the users. With Power Apps Copilot, we will easily create applications without heavily manual, ma manual process. So when we are talking about our co-pilots, for example, when we're talking about Power Apps, imagine that. Uh, imagine that instead of I am creating and designing my application, I just ask my co-pilot to, well, 
I need to create an app that do uh, aircraft maintenance. Please create an app for me. Then Copilot will understand that based on his experience. Uh, he will suggest a table. You can check this table. You can see if you need any additional columns or if is that the idea, the main idea. And then it's going to start the job for you with tables created, with a design created, and then with the job started, we can then edit what Copilot have delivered for us. Also, uh, Copilot can help us with ideas, insights. So using natural language, Power Apps can generate code for us or even uh, have real insights about creating complex functions. So if we are creating functions using the Power FX, uh, Copilot can help us to increase the agility when creating it, what is very good also, because we don't need to remember every function, but Copilot can help us to do this, that. And also express design. Imagine that uh, from image and also from a file, you can create uh, um, a power app. So uh, the AI can read through an image, uh, even almost as a, a paper bread draw, and then it can understand what we what you have draw to uh, proper deliver uh, a, a design for your power apps. So you are going to accelerate the application development uh, without the need to create all the pages, all the tables, or the applications using Power Apps Copilot. Now, let's talk about Power Virtual Agents. So, Power Virtual Agents is a way to create chatbots uh, using natural language. And it's, understand that it's important to understand that Power Virtual Agents can help anyone to create and iterate through topics of a chatbot in just 10 minutes. Why is that? Well, Power Virtual Agents, it's um, a way to deliver chatbots using low code. So nobody needs to understand uh, about programming here again. Uh, but we can point, for example, our Power Virtual Agents uh, to files and to documents in uh, our cloud, our company cloud, our private cloud in our companies. Uh, so Power Virtual Agents can read through it and really create a knowledge base where users can start to interact with our knowledge base. So mainly, Power Virtual Agents with Copilot with AI can help us in two ways. First of all, it can create our topics faster. Topics are questions and answers that we create uh, to um, our chatbot starts to reply to it. So we can just describe what we want and then Copilot can write the topics for us. For example, create a chatbot that talks about, uh, well, uh, the new features in Power Apps from Microsoft, then uh, Power Virtual Agents using Copilot will create the topics for us. Also, we have the conversational bo booster because we can connect our bots to our data. So if we are in a website, for example, and we want our bot to read through our website and search on it, uh, so our users uh, that access our website does not need to look where in our site it's a specific information, we can have a chatbot to do it. So Power Virtual Agents can connect the information that are in our websites to answer our customers' questions. Power Pages is another powerful tool from, from the Power Platform that allows us to create portals. Uh, and when we are creating new pages, for example, we can also, with natural language, just uh, tell the co-pilot, well, create a page for me that talks about uh, the new features from Microsoft or the new features from Power Pages in the release of 2024. Then Copilot will create these new pages for us and auto-generating HTML and CSS. Of course, it will auto-generate, but we can still change it and uh, configure it as we want. And if we want to integrate Power Pages with our Power Veto agents, this is totally possible too. As you can see, we can quickly uh, connect our bots to our Power Pages website. Now, um, Power Automate and also AI Builder Copilot. So Power Automate uh, allows us to trigger our AI builders. Imagine that. So every time that I receive an invoice, I want to add this invoice that I have received 
by email, for example, to my Dynamics 365 or even to an other system. So I can create a trigger in Power Automate uh, pointing to a specific email. Every time that I receive an email there, I can check the attachments if it's an invoice. Then I can ask a I builder to look to this invoice, get the important information, for example, due date, amount, read through it, and then paste it in my system that I want, Dynamics 365, another one, does not matter. So Power Automate and AI Builder, it's very powerful tools that will help us to deliver our uh, AI even faster. It will allow us to trigger our AI even faster. It's very important for us to start to use AI Builder because AI Builder will improve our capacity to deliver AI in our companies. AI Builder is here to decrease the time that we need to spend with advanced coding. And when we are talking decreasing time, we are talking about spending less money and to deliver things faster. That's why AI Builder is so important. When we are talking about advanced coding, of course, that this is also something that is possible with mainly the Azure services. So some of the services that we can use, and we are talking a little about them here is the bot services, the cognitive search, the open and services, and also the machine learning uh, services. So talking about the bot services, Azure search and open and I, here is an architecture about how we can orchestrate them. As you can see, I have, for example, an application uh, that wants to query my database files, does not matter. And also I want to use OpenAI. So uh, on this application, I want my users to be answered using natural language. So using these tools from Azure, I can easily do this. Azure Cognitive Search will search for the data sources and then Azure OpenAI using GPT will read through it uh, and answer my users as they need, as they want. Also talking about machine learning, if we want to start working with machine learning, that means when we start to, uh, well, use an AI to really understand our work, our uh, the things that we do, uh, understand more about our company, about how we can succeed, then we can use machine learning on Azure using uh, also some scripts. So as you can see, we have a flow uh, in Azure service uh, that can help us to uh, create this flow and then uh, create the neural links between our AIs. And we can write the custom code as we want. Of course, this will, will spend more time with it, but it also empowers us to be more and more specific in the needs that we have. For example, if I want to generate some analytics in Power BI, we can easily connect the two things using machine learning. For example, I want to extract some data. Uh, I want my AI to read to the data that is being extracted, and I want to present these data in Power BI. We can easily do this using these Azure services. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, talk that we have about the co-pilots, about how to succeed with, an, with AI. Uh, and it's have been a pleasure uh, to me to uh, talk with you. So now let's proceed with Lena. Now look into how to start and succeed. Data center and tenants, first on basic. The data governance is tenant-based. Tenants within Europe are following Europe data rules. The user's co-pilot workspace is tenant-based and follows the tenant's data center. A user connected from anywhere connected to an Europe tenant is underlying Europe data rules. The language model in co-pilots for Microsoft 365 and sales can support nearly all languages and are ready to implement in European countries. Microsoft Technology, Data and AI. EU 
has just confirmed regulations of the use of AI. It's a tough one, but it's important to EU to have the rules for AI. As a company, Microsoft, and also Alpha People as an implementation partner, has to act responsible to the regulations. Microsoft will support the EU regulative as they do with Asia and cloud applications in general. This is a draft of the regulations. You can find information yourself. Microsoft Cloud, a AI you can trust. Your data is your data. Your data is not to train the open AI foundation models without permission. Your data is protected by the most comprehensive enterprise compliance and security controls. Microsoft protects your data and enables you to control it. Which means it is your obligation and it is necessary to ensure a good data quality. Important to build up an infrastructure design before starting a project. Roles and rights, restrictions, workflows for the users and so on. But we are here and we are able to help you with that. You can be self-made, have a scope, do some body shopping and get some training. It's easier than you think, but you must have a data strategy, a data governance, and you also must have a prepare, you must also prepare your infrastructure, end user rules and rights, workflows and guardians, guidance, workflows and guidance, document flow, security and traceability. So why not have a pilot for the co-pilot? It's easy. Get your hands dirty, reach out to us. We are here to help. Learn by messing around. Thank you for today. We hope we have given you a little teaser for Copilot, possibilities from Microsoft. More will come, this is just the beginning. Copilot is here to stay and use, but let us do it the safe way.